Phil in broadcast studio and said, I have a brand new book for you I'd, I'd like you to look at. And I said, great, who wrote it? And they said, Georgia Frontier. And I said, wait a minute, she didn't write the book. They said, yes, she wrote it before she died and they held on to it. And her daughter, Lucia Rodriguez, was publishing it. I said, we got to talk about that. Lucia Rodriguez, welcome to back to the Big 550 KTRS here in St. Louis. Thank you so much. We need you to talk right into the microphone. I will talk right into the microphone. There we yes. go. <laughs> so your mother died how long ago now? Is 2008. it 2008. 2008. So it's been six years now. Boy, yes. time, time flies. I know. Um, and she, it was sudden. It was breast cancer and it was sudden, right? Uh, she'd been sick for a long time and kept it to herself. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, it was um, it was it was shocking to my brother and I, and, sure. you, you know, the family. But um, yeah, and and so when did she write Horoscope? This book? She had been writing it for years. Okay. She had. Um, I mean, what the what happened was um, we actually found a Tupperware box in a box of papers where the manuscript was, the first draft of this book. And you had known she, has, she was writing this because she had we talked about it, correct? We knew she was writing it, and, you know, we'd be at dinner, and she'd be scribbling on cocktail napkins and asking my brother and I, what do you think of this, what do you think of that? And we certainly were familiar with the main character, Dr. Kelly York, who's the astrologer and psychologist who's, you know, just wanting to help everybody she can through both of these uh, wonderful mediums. And... Um, so, you know, when we found the basically completed manuscript, like, wow, this is amazing. I mean, what a wonderful treasure to find because we didn't realize that it was so complete. So did, so you opened it up and read the whole thing? Read the whole thing. And wow. you thought to yourself, this is a pretty good book. This is amazing. And, you know, certainly we, um, you know, we took it to our, our friend, Mark, uh, uh, Mark Rosen, who's an editor. Right. And, uh, he, you know, he just polished it a little bit and said, you yeah, know, this is basically complete and it's terrific yeah all right and the book is called horoscope the astrology murders give us the uh give us the background give us the story give us the hook well uh dr kelly york lives in new york she has two children coincidentally my mother had two children Oddly enough. Girl. <laughs> yes Ooh. yes yes there's some it's interesting family similarities, um, similarities. every time i i page through it too i've i read it once completely and then i go through and i come hmm, this is interesting you know um, so she um, lives alone, and well, actually, she doesn't live alone. She has um, a housekeeper that she's very close to and an assistant, and um, she sees patients in her office in her home. And uh, there's a serial killer on the loose, and she's called in by the FBI to help to solve the case. And that's where it diverses from reality. Yes. So we hope. Well, <laughs> well exactly. That does yes, happen. that's exactly. <laughs> Sylvia Brown. Come that's on. exactly right. That's exactly right. But my mother had an incredible imagination and always loved a good mystery and uh, suspense. And um, um, one Did of our family members used to call her double of seven and a half <laughs> because she was always looking for the, you know, the theory, you know, the, right. the intrigue behind whatever was happening. The book is called Horoscope, The Astrology Murders. Is it out now? It is out. It's it is out? at STL Books here in town. Okay. And it is also available on Amazon and at barnesandnoble.com. And you, you have a partnership with this release? A partnership with the... Uh, yes, we do. Safe, Safe Connections. connections. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell us about that. It is um, local in St. Louis, and it is a um, uh, domestic violence uh you know, advocates against domestic violence. And so for the months of December, uh, November and December, we're giving a portion of the proceeds to them. Nice. nice. Uh, you and, is it you or your brother who's involved with the movies in in Hollywood? My brother. Your brother. Is he going to turn this into a mega blockbuster movie? I don't know. Have you, you know, sold the rights left. to him? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's my brother and I that are doing this together. So I yeah. think we, we have the rights together. But um, my mother has left um, notes that, that this could go on for a while. There are... So you're planning on a series then? There will be a series, yes. Wow, okay. Yes, we'll see, we're going to see how this goes, but there will be more to come. If, uh, if, if this is well received, there'll be so more So did she write the notes knowing that she wasn't going to be around and that this is what she wanted, or was this My just sort of... My mother was going to be around forever. She was one of those people that just thrived on magical thinking. This is a family trait that goes way back for generations right. and was never going to die. Yeah. So no, she did not prepare to, no. Yeah. She was going to live forever. Yeah. So was she writing this for years and years or how did that? You know, she's always been a writer. She's always okay. been a creative person. She has been writing poetry since I, I mean, when I would get a birthday card, it'd be a poem. I mean, my kids too, you know, there'd always oh. be a poem about relationship and whatever. I love that, whatever. things you don't know. My husband is a sports reporter and he said your mom always talked about homemade soup. 
<laughs> she always <laughs> she you know she could cook she could sew she I mean she used to make costumes at a theater that she was involved with when she was growing up in multi Fresno yeah. and yeah she she did it all all right so the book is called horoscope the astrology murders written by Georgia and it's frontier is it fr- well, it, it, it actually is frontier but she used to just say Frontier because nobody could pronounce it. So oh. she used to say Frontier. Frontier, okay. <laughs> Georgia Frontier. I want to get that. Because I, 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 I've heard it seven different ways. Me too. I know. And I've heard it, no, this is the way it really is, and yes. it's so confusing. So, it's all right. true. Um, it's true. All right. Now, you're wearing a, I don't want to say you're wearing a Rams uh, scarf, but you're wearing a Rams throwback colors scarf i am yes yes is that your little nod to the to the rams as you come through yes it is of course yes good can you tell someone in the old team you used to own that we need to go back to those colors i love these colors they're fantastic i love these colors but you know it was my mom actually that wanted to change the colors really she did yeah she She liked the navy and the softer gold but i all the players love that they're always so happy right. wearing these colors. Well, and that's sort of the Rams, when you think of the Rams in, in their heyday, that's, you know, when they were winning and, and and all of the excitement and all that, that's what they were wearing. I yeah. completely agree. Yeah. They're, they're happy, bright, you know, Cheerful look at colors, me colors. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly right. Uh, do you still follow the Rams? Of course. Still watching? I'm a lifelong fan. Life of the, yeah. I, I live and breathe and die every given any given Sunday when we're not doing well. Do so, you go to games? Yes. Oh, of course. So now you're 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 out completely, right? You have no say, no nothing, right? You no, guys are I'm just a fan. You guys are you're just a part poor? of the history of the team now, but you Do you know. get a parking spot at least? Do you get a ticket? Um, do you get a free hot dog out of the deal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can we get tick- we can go to the games and okay, you know good. we're definitely welcomed uh, very warmly and right. as you should be. Good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So where can we get the book again? You can get it at STL Books in Town, right? And at BarnesandNoble.com and Amazon.com. All right. The book is called Horoscope: The Astrology Murders. I guess uh, Georgia Georgia Frontier is the writer. If the other ones come out, is she going to get? Is she going to be the author too? Uh, well, yes. I mean, you know, with maybe my help and my brother's right. help and maybe our dear friend Mark Rosen's help, we're gonna we're gonna see as we go through. You know, I, I think it's a great. I think it's a it's a great story. Just going through mom's papers and finding finding that finding exactly it, right right for your own just sort of interest and family history of it all. But then you have the wherewithal and the the connections and it, it's good enough to get published. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, we come. I come from a long line of collectors. You know, people in my family don't throw anything away. <laughs> so we know when we get a box that was my mother's or my grandmother's, for instance, we don't. We have to look through everything because you don't know what you're going to find stuck in a magazine or, right. you know, uh, a bunch of magazine subscription, re- you know, renewals. You just don't know what you're going to find. This was actually in its own box. So it was, I'm sure it was. Yeah, it was. She you know, protected it. And, right. Yeah. When this you was when you opened it, did you know what you had? Did you know this was the book? Be- yeah, because she had always she'd always carried it around. You know, where's my book? You know, it was never too far from making you know, sure when she would, when she would travel. You know, I make sure my my book is is right. here in the bag. You know, the shopping bag. Yeah, it's a great story. All right. Nice. Uh, Horoscope, The Astrology Murders, written by Georgia Frontier. Uh, Lucia Rodriguez, her daughter, in town promoting. You're also in town for the anniversary of the uh, championship, right? I am. 15th anniversary of the 99 team. Boy, you blink your eyes. It's 15 years <laughs> later, right? I, I can't believe it. I just, you know, and I miss my mom so much. It's just when I think that 15 years ago she was here holding the trophy, it just... You know, when we were at the Super Bowl, we never, none of us ever dreamed that she'd be gone, but... Um, this is a wonderful thing, and I, I feel like she would be so happy yeah. Yeah. with this. And I'm, I'm glad that it's that the release has worked out to be coincide you know, coincide with, the, with, with the, uh, the 99 team. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm excited to see all those guys, too, because I know they they all adored her, and, and she adored them, so it'll be fun well, to Well, there's no them question the that there'll be memories. There'll be a flood of memories coming back all, all weekend long, and especially for you. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, embrace it, enjoy it, right? Thank you. Know, you. That's yeah. what I, that's Feel what I intend to do. Yeah, uh, Lucia Rod- Rodriguez, um, the daughter of the Rams owner, Georgia Frontier, she's written a book, and uh, it's published this 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 weekend. The book is called Horoscope. Uh, Lucia, thanks for, for coming by. You're always welcome. Thank you so much. Especially when, when you wear the old-time colors. <laughs> I agree with you. I yes. think we should all write in. And I also think they should remake the movie Heaven, um, Heaven Can Wait. That was an awesome movie. That was a great movie, I remember right? That movie. Yeah, Which that was said, in Los that was Angeles. Where right. My father, Carol Rosenblum, was in, was very good friends with Warren Beatty, and that was made in, in Los Angeles. Because that was a remake of a of a movie. That's right. Yes, yes, um, it was. 
Meet Me in Heaven or something. It was another, but it was a boxing movie that was the the original movie, and then they really? made Heaven Can Wait. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, yeah, and then, um, but that was a great, it great, was a great movie. movie. It was a very fun movie. I remember and that funny, very well. Yeah. You know yeah. what? I'm gonna have to find that now and, and watch it with my family. It's, <laughs> there you go. It's a, I bet you it stands the test of time too. I think so. Yeah, uh, Julie Christie, right? Was the girl. Right, Leo Leo Farnsworth was the guy who who who. Wow. He, I still remember him bike riding through the yeah, tunnel and yeah. Um, it was a, it was a um, heaven can wait. It's a great movie. All right, uh, Lucia, thanks for for stopping by. Thank you for having Thank me. You. you got it. Uh, Eight fifty or Big Five Fifty KT.